We're talking GM draft histories, and we start with the Bengals. Mike Brown became the de facto GM in 1991. Since then, since he has drafted 258 players, 16 of them making a Pro Bowl, which pencils out to about 6%. For perspective, think of 10% being the market GM would like to hit at. Brown has had 32 first-round picks in his tenure, but they haven't drafted a QB in the first since 2003 when they took Carson Palmer. Palmer was one of three QBs the Bengals have selected in the first round under Brown. The other two, Akili Smith, who was taken third overall in 1999, and David Klinger, taken sixth overall in 1992. The Redskins fired GM Bruce Allen after the 2019 season and won't name a new general manager until after the 2020 draft. So let's focus on some of their moves from the point Daniel Snyder bought the team. They've drafted 157 players, 13 of them making a Pro Bowl. Washington used 19 first round picks in the Snyder era, nine of which made a Pro Bowl with the Redskins. But they're the only team in the NFL with zero first team all pros this century. Champ Bailey made one, but he was with Denver when he did it. Since arriving in Detroit in 2016, GM Bob Quinn has drafted 34 players, including Kenny Galladay, the only Pro Bowler he's picked so far. Quinn used the only top 10 pick he's had at his disposal on tight end TJ Hawkinson in 2019. His other three first round selections, center Frank Ragnow in 2018, linebacker Gerard Davis in 2017, and tackle Taylor Decker in 2016. And if Quinn were to make a first round trade this year, it would be his first. He hasn't swapped any first round picks while he's been in the driver's seat. Dave Gettleman has been a GM twice now, for the Panthers from 2013 to 2017, and then with the Giants starting in 2018. Gettleman has drafted a total of 44 players between the two teams. Three Panthers made at least one Pro Bowl and one Giant, so just under 10% of his picks. One position he's been especially good at evaluating, running back. He's not only responsible for the selection of Saquon Barkley in 2018, but he also gets to take credit for picking Christian McCaffrey in 2017. Chris Greer took over in Miami in 2016, and he has three first-round picks in this year's draft, the most of any team. Overall, he's drafted 29 players so far. Three have made a Pro Bowl, but two of them, Minka Fitzpatrick and Laramie Tunsil, did so after he traded them away. Xavier Howard is the only one to make it as a Dolphin. He's had 12 picks in the first three rounds while in charge. Seven of them have been used on defensive players, five of them offensive. After taking over as the youngest GM in Chargers history in 2013, Tom Telesco has drafted at least one Pro Bowler or All-Pro in six of his first seven drafts. Overall, Telesco has taken 46 players and he's found plenty of value in the later rounds selecting three-time Pro Bowler Keenan Allen in the third round and 2018 first-team All-Pro Desmond King in the fifth round. With Phillip Rivers in place, Telesco hasn't had to worry about the QB position. He's used a first or second round pick on every non-specialist position except quarterback. Marty Herney is in his second stint as Carolina's GM. He's picked 105 players for the Panthers overall, 11 of them making at least one Pro Bowl. He's been especially efficient when he's picked in the top 10. He's had four of those picks, Julius Peppers, Jordan Gross, Cam Newton, and Luke Keekley, and all of them have been named first team all pro. Really though, he's had a lot of success no matter where he's picked in the first round. Of the 12 first round picks he's taken, eight made a Pro Bowl, and Brian Burns and DJ Moore, who he's picked in the last two drafts, are off to very promising starts. Steve Keim was hired as the Cardinals general manager in 2013, and in that time he's drafted 53 players. Only three though have made a Pro Bowl, and none of those players were taken in the first round. Of Kime's seven first round selections, none have made a Pro Bowl, though Kyler Murray seems like he's destined to make one after being named AP Offensive Rookie of the Year. And when it comes to top 10 picks, Kime has had three of them, and he's used all three on offensive players. David Caldwell has been GM in Jacksonville since 2013, 53 players drafted, six Pro Bowlers, that's a respectable 11%. Caldwell has used seven first-round picks since becoming GM. Four of those picks, though, Luke Jokel, Blake Bortles, Dante Fowler, and Jalen Ramsey are no longer with the team. And while Caldwell has made a trade for a first-round pick, he's never traded his own first-round pick. The Jaguars have drafted at their slot in every season he's been GM. 33-year-old Andrew Barry is entering his first draft as an NFL GM. However, the Browns have used six first-round picks while he was VP of Player Personnel. Four of those six are still with the team, too. Baker Mayfield, Denzel Ward, Miles Garrett, and David Njoku. 
Jabril Peppers and Corey Coleman were the other two. Watch to see how the analytically driven Barry handles trades. Cleveland made three trades to acquire first round picks when he was in his former position. The Jets' Joe Douglas is also entering his first draft as a GM and his team currently holds the 11th pick, the first time they find themselves outside the top 10 since 2016. New York has had 10 first round selections since 2011, but seven of those 10 aren't on the team anymore. Just Quinnen Williams, Sam Darnold, and Jamal Adams, all taken in the last three years, remain. Douglas took over as GM in June this year and has made two trades since then, trading away Leonard Williams for a 2020 third round pick and a conditional pick in 2021, and he also traded for Demarius Thomas. In his first season as GM, Mike Mayock had the luxury of three first round picks, which he used to select Cleland Farrell, Josh Jacobs, and Jonathan Abram. Jacobs was a huge hit. Abram only played one game due to injury, and Farrell, the most scrutinized of the three because he was taken fourth overall, finished with four and a half sacks. Overall, Mayock drafted nine players in his first go-through, and eight of them appeared in at least one game for the Raiders, and he seems to have hit big on fourth-round selection Max Crosby, who led the team with 10 sacks. Maybe more impressive, six of his nine picks played in 13-plus games, and they all made at least four starts, and both figures would have been higher had Abram not gotten hurt. Jason Light started as GM for the Bucks in 2014, and his very first pick was wide receiver Mike Evans at number seven overall. Evans is one of four pro bowlers Light has taken out of the 42 total players he's drafted. Evans' mate, Chris Godwin, is one of them, and he's still with the Bucks. But the other two are not, linebacker Quan Alexander, and of course, quarterback Jameis Winston, who he used the first overall pick on in 2015. Then, in 2016, he used the 11th overall pick on cornerback Vernon Hargraves, who they cut right after the start of his fourth year, and their second-round pick on kicker Roberto Aguayo, who was waived after his rookie season. His last three first-round picks, Devin White, Vita Vea, and O.J. Howard. John Elway has selected 61 players as Broncos GM, and Cortland Sutton is the only one to make a Pro Bowl. Elway has proven a willingness to make draft trades, executing a first round trade in four of his eight drafts. And as far as first round picks go, he's had seven of them. The last three are still with the team, but the previous four are all on different teams at this point. An interesting note from Elway's draft history, he's used a first, second, or third round pick on every non-specialist position except linebacker. Thomas Dimitrov has been on the job since 2008 and has drafted 87 players, 12 of them making at least one Pro Bowl, which totals out to 14%, one of the highest of any current GM. He's had 13 first round picks and six of them made a Pro Bowl. Under Dimitrov, the Falcons have made five trades involving first round picks, all trading up within or into the first round. And Dimitrov has never drafted a running back or tight end in the first or second round. Since Jerry Jones has been the de facto GM for the Cowboys, he's drafted 279 players. 36 have been named to the Pro Bowl, which is a 13% hit rate. His first two first round selections, Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith went on to make the Hall of Fame. And in all, 15 Cowboys have been named first team all pro. The Cowboys have had a lot of success in the draft in recent years, having drafted several of the best linemen in the game, and also hitting on linebacker Leighton Vander Esch, Ezekiel Elliott, and Dak Prescott. Seven of their last nine first round picks have been pro bowlers. The Eagles have made seven trades involving first round picks since Howie Roseman took over as the highest ranking executive in 2010, moving up five times and down twice. The Eagles drafted 80 players in that same span, six of them making a Pro Bowl at least once, though they have not drafted a Pro Bowler in the last three seasons. Since 2010, the Eagles have used seven of their nine first round picks on trench players, Nelson Aguilar and Carson Wentz being the only exceptions. Roseman also gets credit for selecting the likes of center Jason Kelsey, defensive tackle Fletcher Cox, and tackle Lane Johnson, all of them having been named first team all pros. Bill Belichick has been in charge of the Patriots draft process since 2000. In that time, he selected 176 players, including 16 pro bowlers, 10 first team all pros, and two members of the NFL 100 all time team. While he's drafted three quarterbacks in the last four drafts, he's never taken one in the first round. 
The highest Belichick has ever taken a QB was Jimmy Garoppolo in the second round of the 2014 draft. And as for his first round success, he's had 18 picks in the first, eight of them making the Pro Bowl at some point. General Manager Mickey Loomis has been on the job since 2002, and of the 115 players he's drafted, a hefty 15% made a Pro Bowl team. Loomis is credited for being a key figure in the hiring of Sean Payton and the signing of Drew Brees. And with Brees around all these years, Loomis hasn't ever been compelled to use a pick sooner than the third round on a QB, or a tight end for that matter. Loomis has been using his first round picks of late on defensive players. Four of the last six players he's picked in the opening round were on D, O-lineman Ryan Ramchek and Andrews Pete being the exceptions. Rick Spielman has spent 30 years working in football and has been the Vikings GM since 2006. He's drafted 120 total players, 16 Pro Bowlers, and six All-Pros. Spielman had an especially strong run from 2012 to 2015 when he selected multiple Pro Bowlers in each of those drafts. But none of his last four first-rounders, center Garrett Bradbury, cornerback Mike Hughes, wide receiver Laquan Treadwell, or cornerback Trey Waynes, have made one yet. And the only non-specialist position he's never used a first or a second round pick on, edge rusher. The earliest he's ever drafted one is the third round. John Schneider was hired as general manager of the Seahawks in 2010, about a week after the hiring of head coach Pete Carroll. Since then, the Seahawks have drafted 97 players, 10 pro bowlers, including five first team all pros. Schneider has traded back or out of the first round in each of their last eight drafts meaning Seattle hasn't used their own first round pick since 2011. He's gotten some great value picks though, including Russell Wilson, who was selected 75th overall, and Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor, who he picked up with fifth round picks. And as for Schneider's first round track record, he's used seven of them total, starting off with Earl Thomas and Russell Okung. But none of the last five, James Carpenter, Bruce Irvin, Jermaine Effetti, Rashad Penny, or LJ Collier have been Pro Bowl material just yet. Eric DaCosta is entering his second season as Ravens GM, though he's been with the organization since the beginning, working closely with Ozzie Newsom while overseeing the college scouting and pro personnel departments. In his first draft at the helm, DaCosta traded back from 22nd overall and ended up selecting Marquise Brown with the 25th overall pick. He was assistant GM for Baltimore starting in 2012, and the Ravens have drafted nine pro bowlers in that time, including, of course, quarterback Lamar Jackson. In his first major move as Titans GM, John Robinson traded the 2016 first overall pick to the Rams, who would select Jared Goff, for six picks. In total, Robinson has made 29 total selections for Tennessee, including two Pro Bowlers, running back Derrick Henry and safety Kevin Baird. Mixed results to some degree when it comes to the five first round picks he's used thus far. Jack Conklin, who they didn't re-up, corner Adore Jackson, wideout Corey Davis, linebacker Rashawn Evans, and last year's first defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons. He has been able to find some gems in later rounds, selecting A.J. Brown with the 51st pick in 2019 and Jonu Smith with the 100th pick and Jayon Brown with the 155th pick in 2017. Brian Gutekunst has been GM of the Packers since 2018, but worked for the team since 2000. Of the 19 players Gutekunst has drafted, none have made a Pro Bowl yet, but all three of his first round picks so far have played a key role for the team. Gutekunst has taken three defensive players with each of his firsts, cornerback Jair Alexander, linebacker Rashawn Gary, and safety Darnell Savage, and watch to see if he makes it three in a row. The Packers have made a first round trade in each of Gutekunst's drafts as GM. The 27 players John Lynch has drafted since taking over in 2017 have played a decisive role in the turnaround of the defending NFC champs, and two so far have made a Pro Bowl, tight end George Kittle and defensive end Nick Bosa. Kittle isn't the only steal on Lynch's resume either. He nabbed Kittle in the fifth round, and he got Fred Warner with a third round pick. Lynch has used four first round picks so far, and three of the four have been top 10 picks. There's Bosa, of course, last year, who was selected second overall. Then it was tackle Mike McGlinchey in 2018 with the ninth overall pick. 2017, it was defensive end Solomon Thomas with the third overall pick. And with his first, first ever, it was linebacker Reuben Foster, who he took with the 31st overall pick. And so far, Lynch has yet to draft an interior offensive lineman, like at all. 
he hasn't used a single draft pick on a guard or center. Brett Veach was promoted to Chiefs general manager in July 2017, and in his drafts he's only taken 12 players, with McCall Hardman being the one player to make a Pro Bowl already. The Chiefs have not used a first round pick under Veach, trading their 2019 selection for Frank Clark, and their 2018 pick had been traded to the Bills as part of the package for Pat Mahomes, a move that Veach advocated for while working under then GM John Dorsey. While Veach hasn't taken anyone in the first round yet, he's had six total seconds and thirds. Hardman, safety Juan Thornhill, and Breland Speaks are his second rounders. Kalen Saunders, Derek Nottie, and Dorian O'Daniel are his thirds. The Colts have traded back with their first round pick in two of the three drafts under Chris Ballard. Those trades gave Ballard eight second round picks to work with. That's more than any team has had since 2017 when he took over as GM. Indy has two second rounders this year. Overall, Ballard has drafted 29 players, Two have made a Pro Bowl thus far, Quentin Nelson and Darius Leonard, and both were named first team All-Pro in their rookie years, making the 2018 Colts the only team in the Super Bowl era to have two rookies make first team All-Pro. The Texans are entering their first draft with Bill O'Brien officially taking over GM duties, but his first pick won't come until number 40. Even though he wasn't officially general manager, he engineered the trade that sent Jadavian Clowney to Seattle and the trade that sent their first round picks in 2020 and 2021 to the Dolphins in a deal that included Laramie Tunsil. And of course, he just made another blockbuster when he sent DeAndre Hopkins to Arizona for David Johnson. In the big picture, O'Brien took over as coach in 2014, and in that window of time, the Texans have drafted 45 total players, three of them making a Pro Bowl. Entering the sixth season as the Bears GM, Ryan Pace won't have a first round pick in this year's draft thanks to the trade he made to acquire Khalil Mack. Pace has done a fair amount of trading involving first round picks in his first five years. He moved up to take Leonard Floyd, moved up to take Mitch Trubisky, and traded both his 2019 and 2020 first round picks to the Raiders for Mack. Overall, Pace has picked 32 players, including five Pro Bowlers, which pencils out to 15.6%, one of the highest Pro Bowl rates of any current GM. However, one of the players to do it is Trubisky, who enters the year on shaky ground after a rough 2019 season. As to his other first round choices, Floyd is no longer on the team. Kevin White, who is the first player Pace drafted, is considered one of the biggest draft busts in Bears history. And then there's Roquan Smith, who seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Kevin Colbert has been running the Steelers draft process since 2000 and is the first person in franchise history to have the title of general manager. His draft resume includes 161 total players taken, 19 Pro Bowlers, and seven first team All Pros. The Steelers have been one of the most successful franchises in the league during Colbert's tenure, due in part to his ability to find value in the later rounds. He'll have to do that again this year as the Steelers only have one pick in the top 100, the fewest of any team in the NFL. Les Snead has been the Rams general manager since 2012. His haul is GM, 70 players, 5 Pro Bowlers. Snead is probably best known for his willingness to wheel and deal. He's made seven trades involving first round picks. Coincidentally, he's had exactly seven first round draft choices too. Some have panned out. Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, and of course Aaron Donald, the crown jewel of his pick so far. But he also took Greg Robinson with the second overall pick in 2014 and used the eighth overall pick on Tavon Austin in 2013. In two drafts as the Bills GM, Brandon Bean has taken 16 players, one making a Pro Bowl so far. He's been a pretty active trader in his short run. He's made three first round selections and he traded up for two of them both times in the 2018 draft, selecting quarterback Josh Allen, seventh overall, and linebacker Tremaine Edmonds with the 16th overall pick. Bean has taken a balanced approach so far, drafting at least one player at every position, including his best value pick so far, running back Devin Singletary, who he got in the third round. 